right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. Got some Black Ops 2. It's been a while since I've uploaded some good old-fashioned Bob's Deuce. And I brought enough Doritos and C4 sandwiches for everybody. Let's go. Let's open up a bag of chips. And damn, I missed this game. Haven't played this game in a while. And dude, it felt weird coming back and playing this, man. After playing Black Ops 3, uh, it's just playing coming back to last gen in this game. It took me a little while to adjust. But I was able to get some decent gameplays here. Played for about an hour. Got some good gameplays. I'll splice a few of them together here. So, man, did you guys ever think you'd be surprised to see Team Deathmatch uploaded on this channel? Been playing free-for-all for so long in Black Ops 3. And that's just because of the team balancing, man. Uh, free-for-all is just so much more fun in Black Ops 3. <laughs> it really is. But anyway. All right, guys. So, today, uh, Black Ops 3 DLC 2 Eclipse was announced. Available April 19th on the PS4 first. And I want to talk about it real quick. Imagine that. Let's talk about the multiplayer maps that are going to be hitting us on the PS4 on April 19th. Uh, Spire. Let's start with this one. Spire is one of the multiplayer maps and it takes multiplayer combat to a futuristic suborbital airport terminal set high up in the clouds. Really? Kind of like Skyjacked? Is this going to be like a Skyjack 2.0? Multiple levels and open areas promote intense mid-range combat around a clean, high-tech civilian environment. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me let me read a little bit more here. Uh, watch your step, because one wrong move could send you plummeting back through the stratosphere. Map fatalities. Oh, you know what, man? Spire is sounding pretty good. You know, I was a little, I was a little turned off at first. You know the. Uh, Futuristic suborbital airport terminal high up in the clouds, multiple levels. I was like, eh, I don't know if I like the way this sounds, but map fatalities? Yo, this map's going to be great. Uh, next map, let's get into it. Rift. Um, head to the core of a harsh futuristic military complex set high above an active caldera. What the hell's a caldera, man? Is it something like a volcano? Uh, I don't really like volcano maps. If you guys remember... Magma from Black Ops 2. Yeah, that map was pretty terrible. Uh, Rift funnels and forces tight, intense engagements where the only way through is forward. Utilize the unique core movement opportunities to outsmart and outplay enemies as you traverse the suspended rail system. So it looks like this map, a lot of the advanced movements are going to come into play. Um... I don't know, man. Suspended rail system. What the hell? I don't know if I'm going to like this, man. Look at these campers. Get out of my way, man. Damn. The camp was real on this map, guys. On both sides. The enemy team and my team both camping their asses off. Uh, so, look, man. I don't know if I like this. Uh, the way this map sounds so far. Rift. Uh, utilize the unique core movement opportunities to outsmart. Listen, the only, the only advanced movements I like is drop shot and scuff jumping, baby. Those are the only advanced movements I like. Maybe the slide is okay to get out of being shot at. Uh, I, I don't know. Rift and Spire both don't sound like maps I'm going to like too much. I know Spire's got the map fatalities and it adds so much to the experience. But still, I don't know if I'm going to like Spire. So Spire and Rift look kind of shaky. Now this next map here, Knockout. Dude, this seems cool. I'm going to read you the description on Knockout real quick. And you guys will probably agree with me. Especially you older heads that grew up watching... Oh, them kung fu flicks on Sundays like I did, man. <laughs> Creature double feature in the kung fu movies, man. Godzilla and dudes doing kung fu. That was my Sunday when I was a kid. Oh, and, and wrestling, WWF. Oh, Jimmy Superfly Snooker, baby. Uh, knockout. Housed in a traditional Shaolin temple with a retro twist. I'm liking it already. A map that's housed in a Shaolin temple? Cool, dude. Knockout sets the stage for a bloody kung fu tournament. Dude, <laughs> sounds really cool. This mid-sized map showcases a sharp contrast between the mid-range engagement of the traditional exterior architecture and the tight close quarters of an eclectic 1970s interior. Ooh, that word almost stumped me there. Uh, I also heard there's a disco inside this map. Uh, this map is like some billionaire has a private island and he recreated some Shaolin temple, but it's like a, it's got a disco inside. Dude, this map seems like it could be the best map in this map pack. It seems amazing. I can't wait to play. I've seen some pictures of it. It looks just like Castle from World at War. 
And I heard it plays like slums. So it looks like castle, plays like slums. Uh, dude, I think we might have something here. Now, in the last map pack, I said Splash is probably going to be the best map. And I was wrong. I think Rise is the best map. Splash is probably the best looking map. But I'm all about how a map plays. I don't care how it looks. Um, so Knockout looks like it's going to be a knockout. Looks like it's going to be great. Now, this fourth map here is actually a remake. A World at War remake. And you guys, when I first found out there's going to be a World at War remake in this map pack, I went on Twitter. I was like, yo, guys, what's the map they're remaking, man? What is it? Is it going to be Asylum? Is it going to be Upheaval? Is it going to remake Castle? Airfield? Hangar? I mean, there's so many great maps to choose from in World at War. You guys are like, nah, they're remaking Bonsai. I was like, huh? <laughs> they're remaking what? What's Bonsai? I didn't even know Bonsai was in that game. I completely forgot about it. I had to go and Google Bonsai to even know what the hell it was. I was like, oh, I remember this map. That's that big-ass DLC map with the bridge. The map that nobody played. Damn, this dude just outplayed the shit out of me. Damn, get Ghost and Ninja. Damn it. I was so close to get my second set of streaks, too. Uh, outplayed, baby. Uh, so, Verge is uh, a remake of Bonsai. Yeah, I thought they said they're going to be remaking fan favorite maps. Is Bonsai a fan favorite? I mean, what fan favorite map they, they're going to bring back for DLC 3? Um, Aftermath? Green Band? From Advanced Warfare? That was a fan favorite map, wasn't it? Look at all the shit those dudes got over there. Fucking camping their asses off. Um, Chasm from Ghosts? <laughs> they're going to bring that map back? What <laughs> fan favorite? Bonsai? Dude, most people didn't even know what Bonsai was. How is this a fan favorite map, dude? Uh, really, really weird that they would choose Bonsai as a fan favorite map to bring back. Uh, I mean, I, I didn't even remember. I had to Google it. If I have to Google a map, it's probably not a fan favorite. Damn, I missed my C4. Look how good C4 was in, in Black Ops 2. What the hell did you do to it, Treyarch? Uh, so let me read you the description of this fan favorite map. Now, first of all, Verge does look pretty cool. I've seen pictures of it. It looks like a Borderlands 2 map. It does look really cool. Uh, so, Verge is a reimagination re of the classic Call of Duty World of War map. Banzai! I had to say that. Shout out to Mr. Miyagi. Banzai! Uh, Verge drops multiplayer combat into the center of a distant post apocalyptic future where two warring factions are entrenched in constant battle. Take control of the Key Bridge, Fortress, Tunnel Systems, and Waterfalls as you engage in high speed action through this medium-sized map. Now, if I remember Bonsai... Wait a minute, hold up, fellas. If I remember Bonsai correctly... Now, this is going back some years now. But I don't think Bonsai was high-speed action, man. That was a pretty campy map, dude. There was, like it says here, there's tons of caves to hide in and waterfalls and little huts to camp in. Dude, it was one of the campiest maps ever. I, I hated Bonsai. Like, Bonsai probably... It was one of the worst maps. World of War, really. It was probably one of the most uh, forgettable maps, not favorite. I, I still have no idea why they brought this shit back. Uh, and they're calling it a mid-sized map? As I remember, Bonsai was huge. I, I don't know. I don't know what kind of re remake this is going to be, but fast-paced action? Uh, Medium-sized map? That doesn't sound like the Bonsai from World of War, unless they shrunk it a little bit. But anyway, I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think about all this? Oh, yeah, and by the way, before I end this, I got to talk about the Zombies map. Uh, Zet Sobo no Numa. Dude, this sounds really, really cool. Um, <laughs> so it's home to Division 9, a secret biological research lab whose experiments with element 115 and its effects on human, animal, and plant biology has created horrors beyond belief. Zet Sobo no Shima features a foliage rich island map, including new terrifying zombie enemies, a variety of innovative transport mechanics more devastating traps and classic zombie side quests uh, i love this dude this zombies map looks like it's going to be great just like shino numa and just like shangri-la a nice big outdoors map rich in foliage an island with you know mutant animals mutant zombies mutated plant zombies i mean dude this map looks like it's going to be awesome i'd have to say between knockout and this Zombies map alone, this map pack's probably going to be a hit. Like I said, Spire and Rift, I don't think I'm going to like them too much. Uh, Verge could be good. The remake, I mean, Bonsai sucked in World at War. I mean, I, I, whose fan favorite map was this? This is a fan favorite map? Who, who, <laughs> who, who wanted this map back? <laughs> Most people didn't even know this map was, I, I had to Google it, dude. 
this is not a fan favorite map, dude. I have no idea why they're trying to play it off like this is some kind of fan favorite. Uh, sorry, Treyarch. I'm not buying it. I don't know why you brought this map back. Probably because, I don't know, you could swim in it. It's got the water and you could wall run alongside of the bridge. Maybe this map fits your game the best. Maybe this is a developer fan favorite map. Uh, <laughs> I don't think this is a actual community f favorite map. Uh, I don't think so. So, guys, they didn't mention anything about DLC weapons or anything about a DLC specialist character. And before you guys drop it in the comment section, or you probably already have, this video is going kind of long. Yeah, the, the DLC maps are not in the supply drops, but the weapons probably will be, just like they did with Awakening. They didn't give us any weapons for free. They put new weapons in the game, but they put them in the drops. So they'll probably do that again with Eclipse. I wonder what weapons they'll bring back. Uh, I probably won't get any of them, <laughs> but hopefully they'll be pretty cool. Hopefully you, you guys get some. Hopefully you guys have better luck than me. And my luck with crypto key weapons has been horrible lately. Two butterfly knives. Uh, and that's it. And they'll probably put the 10th specialist character in the supply drops also. I mean, how pissed will you guys be if the specialist character, the 10th specialist character, is actually stuck in the supply drops? Uh, I think that'd be pretty messed up, man. I mean, give, at least give us the um, specialist character. Come on, Activision. Please don't put his ass in the supply drops. Please don't put the 10th specialist in the drops, man. Anyway, all right, guys. This video went kind of long. Had a lot to talk about. I really do hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm optimistic about this DLC. I mean, you know, this map, Verge, the remake of Bonsai. The, the remap, the remake of Bonsai. Maybe it'll be good, man. With the new movement system and the unlimited sprint. I mean, if Bonsai had a limited sprint, the map would have been pretty good. Because it was a big-ass map. We'll just have to wait and see. I'm optimistic. Listen, man, after the first... Awakening's DLC was awful. The multiplayer map sucked. Well, hopefully, these multiplayer maps are better. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely rooting. I'm rooting for you guys at Treyarch, man. I'm sure the maps will look great. The maps look really colorful. Uh, just like Awakening's DLC maps. They all look good. They didn't really play that great. Let's hope these maps play good. Uh, Spire and Rift, I'm a little concerned about. Verge, the, the looks pretty cool. It looks like Borderlands. It looks like a Borderlands map. The Bonsai remake and Knockout. I cannot wait to play on that map. That map just, it just sounds really amazing. So I'm kind of hyped for this. Anyway, all right, guys. Uh, and that Zombies map, too. That Zombies map looks like it's going to be sick. Zetsubo. Am I saying that shit right? Zetsubo. Zetsubo no Shima. Hmm. Yeah, I think I said that right. Anyway. All right, if you guys enjoyed this gameplay commentary, please don't forget to drop a like. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for all the support, fellas, as always. And I'll see you on the next one. Death is an old friend. Don't make me call in any favors.